time in the treehouse gig. And I really, I'm really liking it. I'm still, I can't, I can't stand up. I, I think, oh, I think I'm, maybe I could stand up. I could probably stand up, especially if I wasn't wearing my, oh, thank you. Especially if I wasn't wearing my uh, high heel sandals. It's so great. I kind of feel like a bird in a cage. cocktails here you know, until it gets too cold. So nice. Ted, see this patio? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so this is the maiden voyage of this turbo mixer that I have that I just got. Yes. bunch of songs from my new record today. It's coming out next month.
I am incredibly grateful that uh, I get a chance to play out. Um, I miss it so much. I'm used to playing a lot of shows per month, and to be able to play these house concerts has really given me life. And um, I'm so grateful. It is so great to see all friends again. <laughs> it's been, I've missed all of you. Um, I know everybody here, and um, just miss seeing all your faces. And thank you guys for taking the time tonight. I, I'm incredibly jealous of JJ and Jen <laughs> to get to live next door to each other. <laughs> like, I want to live in the city and friend next door. So I'm going to do my Gordon Lightfoot cover. Because um, when I don't play it, then people go, why didn't you play it? So I don't know, you can tell me if you get sick of it.
I wrote him a song um, coming back from what I thought was going to be a really fun folkish convention, and it turns out, you know, that I don't like conventions, <laughs> and I don't like most folk. Like I like what I like. They didn't like me either, so it was. It was it was completely mutual, and I, I left her early because Ted was like, we're having a party, you should just come home, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and uh, so I was driving away, I put on... Oh yeah, to calm myself down, this is how I coped when I was at this thing, I was so, like, not with my tribe at all, and I, it was so folky, so folky. And I do consider myself a folk artist, don't get me wrong, I'm just like... I don't know, outsider folk, weirdo folk, I don't know, but they weren't there. And to calm myself down and, and like get my head together, I would go into my car <laughs> alone in the parking lot and turn it on and put on Kiss and smoke cigarettes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Abba would have helped. So you learned um, this song, Death, by Kiss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do like Beth. It's a good one. I, it's not the most romantic one out there. It's it's their ballad. You gotta have one ballad for the girls. But yeah, I do. I like. I hated Kiss when I was a kid, and Kiss was big. But they're so nostalgic for me now. Yeah. They just put me in a good headspace. And like, I don't know. Who doesn't love I want to rock and roll all night and party every day? Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Love. <laughs> There's so many Love Gun. You know, it's impossible to not have a smile on your face if you listen to Love Gun. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. Have you ever tried to be Love Gun with your style? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. No one would want that Love Gun. <laughs> love <laughs> Gun. <laughs> that would be a Please do. So anyhow, I drove away and I was listening to, uh, for the first time, Nick Drake, Family Tree. I got it, you know, it was a long drive, so I got to really immerse myself in it. And I fell in love, of course, again, with Nick Drake, but I really liked it because it was stripped down. I, I like him, Pink Moon, you know, no, hardly any production. Because you don't need anything when you can play guitar like he can. And um, so I... I was dictating into my phone as I'm driving the lyrics to this song, which I called November Man. It was November, um, and it's just got that, he just has that melancholy to me that I really feel a kinship with. And um, anyhow, so I wrote a new song. <laughs> left that convention early too. <laughs>
have a couple ones left for you. I want to thank you again for listening to me. I can't wait to hear Avi. I've been hearing him forever. Thank you.